This video is to go along with making a hidden boxes project using some spring colored paper that I designed for the project. First video of, of three short ones, I hope, uh, is going to make is to start off by making this a rectangular tray. Start off by folding. You've got this paper with this dotted, these dotted lines, and that's folding the paper into thirds. So that's what you'll do. You'll fold the paper into thirds. I've done it already, but go right up to the dotted line, open it up, go over to the dotted line again. It's nice to make your folds nice and crisp. Next thing to do is to cut this, and you're going to be cutting it right there against the collar. There's going to be no border. So it ends up looking like this. The next thing I want you to do, so it goes like here and here. Now this you won't always be able to do depending on the paper you've got, but you'll see that there's a, there's a, a line going here, and I want you to fold to that line. Basically what this is doing, it's bringing, it's folding the paper from the top and bottom uh, one-sixth. So if you're using your own paper at some point, and you can figure out what one-sixth is. This fold comes in helpful at the very end to have this. It's not necessary, but it does end up making the very last folds easier. Okay, so open it up, and you've got the third, the folds and thirds done already. Fold one of them over, and then fold this piece down in half. If you're folding nicely, your, your, your patterns will line up, which is why I create these papers, is to help you uh, know that you're folding accurately. So when you go on to making your own, you'll have a sense of folding accurately. So now I bring, make a little, little V top, little roof top here. I bring them down both at the same time so that, uh, so that they're more accurate. Again, it's lining up. Let me come in a little closer here. Stop shaking. There we go. And having that line there also helps you make them even, but you really don't need the line for that. Just line them up evenly. There we go. Now close this up. And do the same thing on the other side. You, what you did before is you fold, just folded this third over, and then bring it back out again, and fold it in half. There you go. Everything's nicely lined up. Open it up, and do those little rooftop folds again. This is such a satisfying little book to make once you get used to it because, I mean a box to make it once you get used to it because it really goes together very quickly and uh, you, you could make a little tray out of any square of paper. Basically done. Open this up. Looks like this. It's got that this going on. Now because we made those that fold in the beginning, uh, where you put one in one sixth, when you begin to open this up it'll fold right up on that line. And that's nice. It helps make this piece come together very nicely. You just sort of squeeze the tops and bottoms. See how it just comes up very nicely right there in the right place? Squeeze that. This has to be collapsible so we'll push it in. Push it in. Everything is lined up beautifully. I'm going to go over it. Just one more step to get ready. This box is just fine by itself. So if you're making just a box, that's beautiful. Uh, but for this particular structure, I've got to fold back these little wings. And you'll see why when the hidden boxes all get put together. And that's it. 